Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I am making a shadow box type card, Christmas card. Um, we're going to go with the sun, sun prints. Yeah, sun prints, 12 by 12 papers. They're beautiful papers. They're not exactly Christmas, but I thought they had a lovely Christmassy glow to them. Yeah, like a snowy, frosty glow. So that's what I'm going for. The stamp set that I'm using is Peaceful Deer and... You'll need circle dies as well. So to start you off, I've written the measurements down here. I'm going with a 5x7 um, card. So you're going to need a piece of white card. Well, whatever your colour your base card is. The same size, but with a wee bit extra on each side. Like three quarters of an inch, is, oh, an inch on each side. So that's six and a half inches wide by seven. Exact same length as your kind of bouncing the light again in the night whatever's going on so what you need to do is cut yourself a piece of card like i've done here which is six and a half by seven and we're going to do a couple of scores on it to create our um, shadow box so go on your six and a half inch side yeah six and a half across here and you need to go in at a quarter of an inch three times so quarter of an inch right down quarter of an inch half an inch and then three quarters and just swish it round and do the same here quarter of an inch half an inch and three quarters and that's your scoring done So we're going to need to turn this now into a shadow box and these are the blue panels that's going to do it. So go into the very inside one. Can you see that at all? I'm going to see if I can move this camera slightly. I had to put the highlight out because it's, um, it's not behaving itself, it's bouncing. So I'll bring it up to you. So uh, we nearly got it there. You've got your three score lines, so we're going to the inside score line, voting it in. So mountain, valley, and then back in for another mountain. So it's in, out, in, out, or it's valley, mountain, valley, mountain, I don't know. Not terms I generally use. Just fold it in, fold it out, shake it all about. Right, so that gives you your tiny wee thing. I don't want it real bulky. If you want it bulky, go for half an inch for each of those instead of a quarter. I definitely do not want to send a big bulky card out this Christmas. This one actually might end up getting boxed in a fancy box and handed to the person, which is another nice way. So we're doing the exact same again, we're just creating that wee dip so that there's a bit of depth behind the main front card. Just give them a good score so they're nice and flat. And that will sit like so on top of your main card. So it has to be the exact same size and that's what you want so you'll be pushing those in and they'll all be lined up perfectly so you shouldn't have any bother. So we need to decorate it now and I have cut a piece of the nice um, paper and I'm going to plunk it on there. I have cut it just after I'm going to trim that it's a bit whiskey looking I need to clean my cut I think. So I've just cut it like a fraction smaller say I've taken like an eighth of it nearly all the way around. I don't want a big giant gap, but I do want to see some white to give it that nice crisp look. So you can see that's going to show up nicely. So we're going to stick that in place. I'm not sure which way that paper would go. It's just a mis mix match of uh, design. So I don't think it really matters, in other words. So we're going to glue it in place, and then we're going to cut it. So make sure you glue it pretty well. Don't leave too many gaps um, and don't put too much glue on either. It's a conundrum. I 
don't want to leave any loose gaps because when I cut my circle out, I don't want to give in, you know. I'm trying to spread it more than I add more of it. And hope for the best. So we're going to stick that in place. I don't think it really matters what, what way. I think that's okay. Right, we'll stick it in place and hope for the best. You kind of want that to dry. So um, you could put a different colored paper underneath this because when you cut the hole, you're going to have your wee border sitting on top and you'll see through. But what I want to do is use another piece of this card so that I can create my background because I'm doing a lot of stuff and I'm creating my own scene rather than putting paper in. And that's the fun part with these peaceful deer stamps. It really is nice. So depending on where you cut your... I want to sort of have it up there that I can add. Well, I'm, I'm actually putting a reindeer and a rabbit here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll add a bow or not, but I'll put the sentiment here maybe. So that's what we're going to go with. So I would probably need... So I'm going to measure this just so that you'll know. You want a piece, I'm not going right up to the top, about five inches. And that would be... So, Four and six eight should be enough. So five inches by four and six eighths. That's just over five. So I'm gonna go and cut this five inches. So five and five eighths, five and four. I can't remember what I said. I'm gonna to have to write that. <laughs> uh, five inches by four and six eighths. That's right. Five inches by four and six eighths. Where's my pencil? Five inches by four and six eighths. I will have these measurements down for you. That's the size you need to create your nice wee um, inside your shadow box, your nice picture, or whatever you're going to put there. So now we want to go with these. I used these two days to create this border so that I can put that over the top whenever we're finished cutting this. So I want to stick this in place where I want it to go. And that's what we're going to cut out. Might just put my, excuse me, things central. So try and get that so that it's nicely set between your um, fancy papers. And then just stick it in place and hope that it doesn't, it's not going to stick because of our sides. So pull these out a wee bit. Now they will get squashed going through the cutting machine, obviously, so don't worry about it. We'll just pop them up again. I'll be back. So that's it cut. So when you're taking your washi tape off, just try and remove it very gently. So that you don't take any of your nice paper off. Patience is the name of the game. So keep that for another project. Yes, not wanting it. So we could stick this now. Sort of raised up inside there. So I need to go and cut. So I had to go and cut myself another circle because I cut it the wrong size. I went inside instead of outside. So cut when you're cutting, you're deciding on your Go the next size up, not the next size down, stupidly enough. So I'm going to add a wee bit of glue around this just to stick it in place. I'm not raising it up because my animals are going to be coming outside the border. Just a few wee dots to hold that in place. And then move it about to your hubby. Right. 
so we'll probably need to give these another refold because they're real squashed so I'm just towards you and away from you and that is your oops this is the top of it here didn't stick that on right never work at night time when you're my age right okay that that seems fair enough it looks like a snowy background to me. That is going to sit in there. And our background piece is going to sit over the top of that so that I can create that. So I actually want to set that in place where I think it's going to go. Set this in place where it lines up. God, this light's terrible to work with, isn't it? I'm going to double check that before I mark it. Seems okay. So I'm going to do a light pencil mark around this. And that is going to tell me where I can stamp and whatever. And create my wee scene. So let's get started. Now I'm actually going to do the trees in Night of Navy. I want to keep it all blue tones. So we're going with that for the trees, funnily enough. I'll get a little bit of scrap paper here. And we're going to start with the large tree. So I'm just going to ink it up. Along with myself. So I want to go one of the trees in the centre here. And I don't mind that the top of it is going over my circle. And I want to do a bit of shadow stamping, so I'm going to bring that right up. And I'm not pressing too hard at the bottom. I don't want that big line going through it. This one is definitely going over the edge. And again, we'll do a bit of shadow stamping. And I'm going to do one the other side. Because balance is good for your life, isn't it? Roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, move it up a bit. And that is a wee bit of stamping done. Now we're going to go in with the wee smaller set of trees from that same set and the same colour again. These ones are going to go kind of close to the edge of that one. Maybe not just... And again, I'm just moving up the ways, so we get a bit of shadow behind them. Same over at this side. And I'm moving up and slightly over. And that gives you sort of a nice way um, area. I might actually stamp off. And add some more behind here. Yeah, I like that. It's one of these things you can just play around with till, till you're feeling happy yourself. Mm, kind of went over the top of them, that was silly. But I'm going to go back in here. Right, I think I've done enough. I'm going to stop. Now you want to go in with... There's this wee snowy line. And we're just going to do it in the navy as well. Because it kind of ties in with it all and it gives you that wee feeling that there's layers of snow. And you can go out over the edge because you're not going to see it. Isn't it great? It saves you getting your brushes out to um, make that wee shadow. Okay, another wee bit over here. Right, I think that is it. I'm covered in ink. So anything else, we'll need to stamp our wee people, just our wee people, our wee animals. And I'm 
can use that for the wee rabbit. So I'm actually going to stamp these all off and cut them out. Cut I don't think they need coloured in. I'm just stamping them and cutting them. I can find them a bit of paper. We'll use one of these circles. So we're going to do our rabbit in the brown. He's going to be cut out and added to get some shine off him with the Wink of Stella. This one is going in this sort of brown. It's called Soft Suede, which is a nice wee colour for them. So I'm putting him up there. I want to leave him where I can leave a wee white border when I'm cutting him out. Nice, so that's him done. And we'll need to do the two wee sitting down ones, wherever they have disappeared to. I'm in a mess as usual. So I want one standing up and the other wee one that's sitting down. And we could put some horns on them too if we're doing them directly onto the paper. So we can put the rabbit away. I'll put him in there and I want to look and see if there's room for him to go without showing on the... I don't think there is. I'm going to have to cut him out. So no antlers. I'm actually going to do these ones in um, Memento. Put the Memento go. Here it is here, because I want to colour them in. So he shall be cut out as well. And this one. What am I looking at? Another bit of... So I'm going to show you how I colored these in just so that you can have a go maybe yourself. The colors I'm using are upside down, dark soft suede, light soft suede and dark crumb cake. So there is another wee stamp I forgot to show it to you. Which, oops, you would do in the brown, and it's to decorate your um, wee deer. And if you didn't want to have to colour it in, stamp it onto some soft suede card, maybe. Um, this is like like a wee pebbly back on them, you'll see it. Like a wee dabbled back on them, which gives them that nice wee dabbled look, which is lovely. I did Google Deer so that I'd get a good notion of how to go about this. I'm giving him that one bit. This boy could have two bits, I think, because he's much bigger. So I'll give him a bit there. And, God, these three things are food three, aren't they? Maybe it's just me. So I want to give him another wee bit up here. Just right up there. So that gives him a nice wee colour, which we'll probably have to go in with a bit of white anyway, because when I coloured in, it's it's going to probably fill in. But we'll start and have a go. We're going to go in with the very darkest. And I'm using the bullet to give me a wee bit more. I'm not going on this uh, tail because I think it's kind of a wee bit white. So we're going to try and avoid... The, do you want me to zoom in maybe? Hopefully I'll see a wee bit better. So I'm going to go in round the edge with this darker colour. Right up around his neck and up around his head. A wee bit, those ears are dark inside, believe it or not. And bring that down a bit. Um, a wee bit dark on this leg, a wee bit down here dark. A 
Now, we'll go in with this lighter. Um, damn it, I keep forgetting these names. Dark suede. Huh? No, light. <laughs> Soft suede. Oh, it's time I stopped, isn't it? So again, I'm trying to avoid, but, you know, it's practically impossible. The wee dots are so small, but I will go in with the, with the chalk pen, which is kind of bulky, but hopefully it'll work. So I'm just bringing that colour down another wee bit. So he has that wee dappled coat. And a wee bit down further on his leg. They have an, a white sort of underbelly and a white uh, throat. Their face is pretty well coloured in, so we'll probably do most of it. And his ears and then his legs. Leave a wee bit white there and get to have a wee bit of white underneath the back of their legs. I am no expert, I'm just having a bit of fun here, nothing else. I'm doing a wee tiny bit under there, but nothing too much. And then the very lightest colour, oops, will fill in his face. Sort of blend that in a bit. So I think that is him more or less coloured, and that's what I'm going to leave him. But as I say, it could go in with the. It's kind of a big nib on this, like it really is big, so. I really would need my gel pen, but it's run done and I haven't replaced it yet. Just trying to get a wee dot of whiteness to lift that. It's not too bad, it's sure, not. So, I think that is him. I'm going to cut him out and I'm going to colour this boy up the same and a wee bit, a tiny bit of colour in that one and I'll come straight back to you. I'm going to zoom you back out. I'm going to give you the head staggers. Right, we're back. We're finished. I've rubbed off all the pencil lines so it's nice and clean now. And we're going to stick this where we know this is going to hold on. So I want to actually stick half of this in place so that I can flip it over. And hope that this fits in between. So I'm going to put a bit of glue along here. You could use your thin tape if you want. So I'm just putting a wee bit and spreading it out a bit. So you just want to do one side at a time. And make sure your card is open at the right place. I'm going to spread it out. These reindeers are just down to get on here before I'm ready for them. So don't press nothing down until you're happy with where it's sitting. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So you want to press those all together so they're nice and bunched and that is going to be where your scene is going to go so before you put your glue on make sure you have room yep seems fine so I'm just putting a bit of glue around the edges and a wee spot in the middle and I'm putting the color glue on so that I can maneuver it about just to make sure I have got it all where I want it Looks pretty okay. Make sure there's nothing showing the bottom. Happy enough, it's a bit cricket looking, isn't it? 
Oops. Let's see. Still working okay. Could come back over this side a wee fraction. Just to balance my trees out a bit. Seems fine, doesn't it? So if you want to um, decorate your wee reindeers and stuff, you can either raise them up or not. This one is going on the outside. He's going to sit here. And the wee rabbit is going to sit at the other side. And this boy is going to go in here. So he might get raised up a wee bit. With a few dimensionals. Just doesn't really matter about his legs. Just pop them on here and there. He's not going to get into to bother by himself tucked in there. A wee bit on his head. This took a lot longer than what I thought it would. And I'm going to have to skirt very soon. So we'll pop him over a wee bit like he's laying on the snow there. This boy's going to go here. I think I'll just put him flat. Because he's kind of behind the other one. So just put a wee bit of glue and pop him in there where he looks like he belongs. Whoops, don't mind moving a bit. And then this one you're going to add with um, dimensionals, but I'm going to stick this down because I'm going to have to scoot. And you'll see the finished card, how it looks. I'm not going to have time to finish it. Um, I've just had a person arrive at the door there. That needs a bit of attention, so I'm going to have to go. So, let me get this in, push it in, so if you're getting that paste there and there, pick it up right away so that you know you're in the right place. And it does pretty well go into it where it should be, it doesn't seem to give too much bother. Just give them a good squeeze and that is your shadow box formed. Those flat for going through the post, mostly flat. It's not perfect because it's pretty thick card, that um, particular card. But I'm pretty pleased with it. He will sit here. I'm going to put a nice wee sentiment here. The wee rabbit will go up. I might bring him up a wee tiny bit. But I'm really pleased with it. I might put a wee bow. It needs something, doesn't it? Maybe a star or something. Well, think of something and you'll see it in the finish, but I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you'll give it a wee go. It's a, a nice wee one to set up in the fireplace because you have all that that depth there, you know, so it just adds to it. And that wee stamp set is just a wee beauty, it really is. Um, I might be able to get in with the antlers, you never know. But I'll have to go. Sorry, so, so sorry for cutting it short, but I will have all the measurements uh, given with this when you click to watch the video all the measurements be underneath it and everything that i use so thanks for watching i'll catch us all again later bye